Let's take a look at interest. Now, interest is something that banks offer you to reward you for investing your money with them. So in the first example, we can see that Shelley is being offered 3% interest per year. So she gets an extra 3% of 1300 pounds every year to thank her for investing her money with this bank. So at the end of the year, all we need to do is work out 3% of 1300 and add it on. So what is 3% of 1300? The calculation is going to be 0 0.03 multiplied by 1300 and 0 0.03 times 1300 is 39 pounds. So in that first year, Sally receives 39 pounds from the bank as interest. So therefore at the end of the year, she will have in her account the original 1300 she invested plus the 39 interest so that'll be a total of 1339. Basically her bank balance will have increased by 3%. So another way of doing the calculation, instead of working out 3% and adding it on, what we could have done is multiply by 1.03, because this is our multiplier for a 3% increase. And then that would take us directly to the 1339. Here's another example, but the interest rate is 4.2%. Now this is quite a tricky percentage amount uh, to, to turn into a percentage multiplier. So 3% became 0 0.03, not too difficult. 4.2, what we need to do if you're unsure is divide this number by 100. So our multiplier will be 0 0.042. So what we can do is multiply 18,000 by the 0 0.042 and that comes to a total of 756 pounds so that is the amount of interest that Pat receives so at the end of um, the year she will have 18,756 pounds alternatively we can go directly to this answer by doing 18,000 multiplied by now instead of using the basic percentage multiplier Let's use the multiplier for a 4.2% increase, which is this multiplier here with one added to it. 18,000 times 1.042, and that will take us straight to the 18,756. Let's have a look at compound interest. Now, compound interest is when you receive interest on your interest. Um, let me explain. So after one year, Shelley will receive 12,000 pounds plus an extra 2%. So I'm going to multiply that by 1.02. Alternatively, you could work out 2% of 12,000 and add it on. Um, I feel like it's a lot quicker using these percentage increase multipliers. 12,000 times 1.02 is 12,240. So after one year, her bank balance will be 12,240. Now in the second year, so what this means is actually the interest in the first year was 240 pounds because that was 2% of this figure here. Now in the next year, this is what I mean by compound interest, the interest will not be 240 pounds. It will be more than 240 pounds because it will be 2% of this figure here, including 2% interest on the interest. So interest on previously earned interest, that is what compound interest is. So what we need, all we need to do is multiply this figure here by 1.02 and we've got her balance after this at the end of the second year and that comes to a total of one two four eight four pounds and eighty p a quicker way to do it would have been twelve thousand multiplied by one point zero two and multiplied by one point zero two again because this figure here we're not really that bothered by what her bank balance was after one year the question is only asking us for two years later so we can speed things up by 1200 times 1 1.02 times 1 1.02 and we go directly to this answer alternatively you could work out two percent of 1200 and then add it on that takes you to 12240 then work out two percent of this amount here and then add it on to 12240 you'll still get 124480 so let's have a look at the next question it's 183,000. A year later, it's 6.2% interest. So our multiplier for 6.2% is 0 0.062, but for an increase, it's gonna be 1.062. So that is our calculation, 183000 times 1.062. And that comes to a total 
of 194,346. Let's look at the final example. So 2,000 pounds in the first year, 4.5%. The multiplier for 4.5% is 0 0.045, but for an increase, it's gonna be 1.045. And then for the second year, 3.2%, which is 0 0.032, that's the basic multiplier. So for an increase, it's gonna be 1.032. And we want after three years, well, this is for the first year, for the second year, and the third year is gonna be the same as the second year, so 1.032 again. So 2000 times 1.045 times 1.032 times 1.032, and that comes to a grand total of £2,225.90. These questions are very challenging. You might be confused with the percentage multipliers, but another way you could do it is just work out the balance after each year. So 2,000 times 0 0.045 tells us the interest in that first year. 2,000 times 0 0.045 is £90 interest, so after one year, the bank balance is now 2,090. Uh, now we want to work out 3.2% of this amount, 0 0.032. So 2090 times 0 0.032 equals an interest amount of uh, 66 pounds 88, which we are gonna add on top of the 2,090. So that comes to 2156.88. And we're gonna multiply that amount by 0 0.032 to work out the interest in that third year. And that is 69 pounds and two p. You see, the interest is greater than the previous year because we're earning interest on the already, the previously earned interest. And now all we need to do is add that onto the 2156.88 and we'll get our 2225.90. So several ways you can do it. The most efficient is using uh, percentage multipliers for increases, so 1.045, 1.032. If you're struggling on the increases, uh, have a look at the videos on percentages where that is dealt with in a bit more detail.